Welcome to Radar. <laughs> Understanding <laughs> cultural differences and interracial relationships. <laughs> oh, let's see my collar. Okay, so because we're, we're, we're not long distance right now. <laughs> 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 okay. Define, go. define culture. We have our culture. Notes. What okay, does it we say? We serried this. You do it, honey. You do it. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Culture. The customs, arts, and social institutions and achievements of a particular nation, people, or other social groups. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it has something to do with people being different. Think about what you were raised in. Your family, your friends, your religion, your ethnicity. What does ethnicity mean as well? What does religion mean? How does that surround you? What kind of changes are occurring for you? What's, what influences you in the small microsystem to the mesosystem? Right? Right. What we want to talk about today is how <laughs> do two people from different cultures meet, fall in love, and have a sustaining, long-lasting relationships? And as we talked about this, which we have at length many times, we've come up with three key points. And the first one that we want to address is, the first really important thing is to know and recognize you have cultural differences and what are they? As you can not, see, we have not really recognized that yet. We because don't know we're, we're different. We, have, we look we're exactly twins, right? like, did you have we feel we're like we twins. Have, we're so twins. We have different color, but we have so many other things that are the same. But our culture doesn't show up in our color much, and we'll talk about that. The next thing is, okay, so the first thing is to know and recognize. The next thing is to talk about it. Talk about it often. What are your differences? Like, yeah, you were raised differently. I can see why that is. And then the third thing is to accept the differences that you have. Mm -hmm. and honor and respect them and flow with them. So we wanted to talk about our background specifically that you may relate to in terms of how we were raised differently in a very different culture. And it isn't so much white and African-American culture. Do you think it is? No, it's American culture. We were raised in a different American culture. Mm -hmm. well, first of all, I'm an only child. I was raised by my mother who was a maid and I went to a predominantly white school. Thing um, that I think most people take for granted is when they have a household with the mother and father in it. Um, it it's the normal. It's normal. It's Everybody normal. in your neighborhood yeah. is, is the same. Mm -hmm. It was different in my neighborhood um, growing up because there was not a father figure in my household. What? Religion. I was raised in a really strict religious, well, say LDS environment and I rebelled as a teenager but then grew up and I was fine with it and then got married at 19 I was had a baby I was pregnant the first month I got after I got married had my first baby at barely age 20 went to do the whole Mormon thing and you were you were Baptist and then decided to shift age back. 20 I wasn't even thinking about getting married or having babies or nothing all I wanted to do is have fun and football, and football, and football, and football, 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 and girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we would have not gotten together at that time, at all. Why is that, honey? Because you weren't Mormon. I wasn't Mormon. I know. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so then it brings us to their similarities now, later in life. And so many times during, and it's very important to marry within that culture as tight as you can. And this is academically speaking. When you have cultural differences, it's going to be difficult, period. If you had different types of parents, <clears throat> working, lazy, drug addict, whatever it is, if you both have drug addict parents, it's almost gonna work better than if one didn't, because you understand. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm just saying to match culture as much as you can, and culture isn't just ethnicity, it's everything that contributes to who you are. The more you can match that, the better. The way you think about money, the way that your scarcity, the way that you're frivolous, the way, you know, any kind of religious thing, rituals, symbols, any kind of that is the more that you can match. So now if we fast forward through our lives, 
we find we have so many similarities. So many things that in common. Are, it's almost weird, mm -hmm. as you can probably tell through us. And so... Well, let's name a couple of those things. Yeah. Or a few of those things that we have in common. Number one, <clears throat> um, we both are very into fitness. Um, we both love music. We uh, have the same interests as far as our spirituality goes, uh, our connection to spirit. Uh, we love we the Om symbol. We have the, um, the lotus flower things around. Sacred the geometry. Sacred geometry. So we have the same kind of spiritual vibe, connection that way. It's not a religion. It's 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 well. You know what it is. Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> you know. You're listening to it. But, but one, a couple of the things that, that really kind of sh strike me, and I have um, some friends who are very curious about this, is that um, politically. Oh, yeah, politically. Politically. Politically, we are... We are <laughs> politically. We actually talk about it. He's just wrong, so he needs to understand that he actually really believes more. What I believe, he just thinks he believes what he believes because he was trained to believe, but he was believed. He just created that believe what he believes. Yeah, what she says, but wrong. You know, we are our our uh, political differences have nothing to do with our relationship together as people. It does not separate us. It doesn't so much bring us together, but it does not separate us. It doesn't make us not want to be together because it doesn't matter really really how you feel politi politically it's about how you feel about each other but so. he's so cute i don't care <laughs> what he does other differences is that she came from a large family um I this mean, is probably the biggest cultural difference we have right now and so as you think about your life and what your cultural differences are, I don't care if you're the exact same color, same height, everything's the same. You will have some differences like your family hugs or your family doesn't hug. Those are cultural differences. For us, I have a million children and a trillion grandkids. Okay, fine. Five kids. And look how big my hand is. Five kids and, and 13 grandkids right now right so when my little the little twins come up to him and they take his drink from him and they go some 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 and they and then he takes it back and goes yeah that's gross <laughs> we laugh and that's the thing is about accepting differences and that's our third point mm -hmm. is to accept differences and you do and you know you have a certain amount of stamina to be around the kids and I know he has a certain amount of stamina because now, I, I'm high an school, only child. Hello, but you teach high school. Yeah, but I'm an only child, and I have two children right. of my own, and and so that is very different. And but growing you teach up, high school, babe. If you I, didn't teach high school, I think you'd have less stamina. For for my my kids. That like, is true. All the stuff that that, goes that on is and, that is true, because I adult do. Adult kids that are having stuff. Or I am around a lot of different people all the time so my stamina is okay for that but that's 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 a big 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 difference yeah, it really you know, to is. try to get used to you know you're talking about holidays and traditions and and all of those things when you have small family you don't you're loose yeah you, about. you don't really celebrate big like that and you we have everything holidays exactly. come and they go and, yep. you, and you do whatever and then you know they're over mm -hmm. but bigger families they go all out and because there's so many different people with so many different so many. yeah opinions. and then you and, and you know our tradition our culture is that you go to everything of everybody's and you know I've started to shift that a little bit to tell my kids hey I can't drive 30 minutes for his soccer game that's in the snow and he's only two and and I come a lot but I think that I've shifted that to match you a little more where I don't go to everything and do everything but the important things we do and then you're kind of you know, shifting to my way as well. So this is in process for us. And that's what's cool is, is as we follow the three key points, it's helped our relationship and we hope it will help yours as we conclude here. So remember, know and recognize your cultural differences that aren't just color. And if it was color, it would be all the same. Cultural differences in terms of how you're raised and all that, you know? There's the variables of that in a culture. 
mm -hmm. that's from a different race, like your traditions of, like the Samoans have a thing they do, the Asians, you know, Asian people have different traditions, rites of passage or whatever. So, no one recognized. Second point is talk about it a lot. He's constantly saying, yeah, that's a, one of our cultural differences. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is to accept differences and embrace differences and love the different types of culture that that someone has. I love cornbread on Thanksgiving. Mm. We're on our journey and we'll be in touch about our progress and we'd love to hear more from and you. We, and we got more stuff and to talk about. We got so much more. We could sit here for a really long time. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. I hope you can look at your partner and, and really attend to these three key points. So we'll talk to you later. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.